and welcome to your daily Go Market update and charts of interest with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst of Go Markets for the 11th of January 2023. We hope you're all well. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, we had a positive session on Wall Street. Jerome Powell did no harm with the speech he was giving in Sweden. And of course, we've got US earnings season kicking off this week and CPI data also in focus. All the major indices close to the upside and that was better than the futures had indicated. Today's futures markets look slightly high in trading today and we are seeing some follow through in Asian indices after that session overnight in Wall Street. ASX is up around 0.8% and European equity futures are also pointing to a higher open. The VIX, not surprisingly, is down slightly. US dollar index continues to be under pressure. It is nearing eight month lows. We also seen some weakness in the Japanese yen today against most currencies. Gold is hovering around that key 1875 level. Doesn't appear to be the will to push it through, but it is a very long established level. And so it will take some move of significance to make sure that we continue up towards that $1,900, which we think may be a medium term price target. Copper had another good day and has broken the key $4 level. Isn't doing much in Asia this morning as it takes a breather from what's been a very positive couple of days. Oil is trading in a tight range and holding just above those 2022 lows. Bitcoin looks positive as well. It's moved back over that key level at 17200 so it's breaching the top of that recent range. Whether it holds it and pushes on from here remains to be seen, of course. At this stage in Asia, there doesn't seem to be a great deal of movement to suggest that that momentum may continue. Big couple of days on the data front. Today, we've already had Australian retail sales beat expectations. And not much coming out of Europe today, but in the US, uh, we've got, again, a quiet session, but we have the EIA all number, which will be really important in terms of oil price and the 10 year treasury auction will be interesting as bond yields have been under downwards pressure. Of course, we're all waiting with bated breath for tomorrow's US CPI number. If we look at the New Zealand dollar yen, you can see we're pushing up uh, today again after yesterday's session. So we are above the highs of yesterday. Could well sort of close this gap to around about 84.50 for longer term traders. That may be the better trade but you can see the strength in the kiwi over the last few days versus the yen and now sits comfortably over its 200 ma here's the short term chart you can see that potential scalping trade there for some potential we're seeing some positivity in lithium stocks and igo is one that caught our eye we've had a level at 14.35 have been keeping an eye on for the last few days and we've seen a breach of that today over 14.50 this looks good for a move potentially up to around about 15.51, as you can see on the chart, which is a move around about 6.75% to the upside. One worth considering, providing it holds this level or possibly pushes up a little further from here towards the back end of the session. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.